you know, we got a lot of stuff to discuss, you know, here live in the first logistics studio here in Cincinnati, Ohio. I think everybody has it in their mind that it's a foregone conclusion that the 49ers are, you know, headed to the Super Bowl and they're the team to beat in the NFC. And I just don't see it that way. I think it's disrespectful to the Philadelphia Eagles and the season and the run that they've had. Now I get it, right? You might be looking at the Niners and you look at Kyle Shanahan. You might be like, there's some offensive juggernaut there. But I also think that this game is going to come down to the quarterback position. And I got to be honest with you guys. I have serious questions, more so serious doubts about the quarterback in Brock Purdy. I do. I think that he's been asked to do a lot less than other quarterbacks in the National Football League. They've sort of made this offense very vanilla for him. And I think going against the Philadelphia Eagles, a team that, albeit they had an easier path, right? They still are battle tested. They still faced, you know, they went through the ebbs and flows of the season and things of that nature. Uh, and they still were forced to win with even out their, their leader in Jalen Hurts. So I want to get your thought, you guys' thoughts. I, I, I got the Philadelphia Eagles winning this game because I just think that they're the better overall team. And I think that the Cinderella story of the 49ers stops here. But Daniel, what are your thoughts? I, I think it's important to put respect on what the Eagles are doing. I think the Eagles, you know, had a great season. Jalen Hurts is the better quarterback. Yeah. Nick Sirianni has done a great job with this team. But I'm not going to shy away from saying the 49ers are the better team. They hands down are the better team. You look at their defense. I think that Jalen Hurts is really going to struggle against the 49ers. I do. I think I've seen an Eagles team that's played arguably the easiest schedule in the entire NFL, right? No disrespect to what they've done, but they're, what, 13-4 and four based off of the easiest schedule in the NFL. They faced a team like the Giants in their you know first playoff game that – the Giants were good, but they were never they never stood a real chance in that game. Now you face a 49ers defense that's top three in the league. You face a 49ers defense that has arguably a top two defensive player in the NFL in Nick Bosa. And I think he's going to create a lot of havoc. To your point about Brock Purdy, yes, he's not a great quarterback. Yes, he's not elite. We were even talking before the show. He may not even be one of the best 32 quarterbacks. He may not even be one of the best backup quarterbacks in the NFL. But what he does well is he fits in their system and he can get the ball to their playmakers. I look at the Eagles defense and great defensive line. Secondary is great, but what do they not do well? They don't stop the run. They don't stop the run. And I think Christian McCaffrey, Elijah Mitchell, I think they're going to have an absolute field day. Incorporate Debo Samuel out of the backfield. Incorporate Brandon Ayuk. I think the 49ers offense as a whole has enough to slow down the Eagles. Yeah, Debo Samuel rushing touchdown. Keep an eye on that, too. He's going to get involved early and often in the run game. And I, I think one of the biggest things that we need to look at is the 49ers made it to the Super Bowl with Jimmy Garoppolo at quarterback. Facts. Brock Purdy, not as good as Jimmy Garoppolo. I'll, I'll give it to him. But he's doing exactly what Jimmy Garoppolo did. Kyle Shanahan minimized his impact on the football game by creating plays, easy plays, wide open, play action passes. He's throwing it 20 yards down the field to a guy with nobody within 10 yards of him. If that can happen again, which I believe it can, the, the 49ers are going to win. They're, they're just going to. Yeah. So I hear what the both of you guys are saying, right? And you, and you make great points. The Eagles have struggled to stop the run all season. But I'll tell you what the key to that is. The Philadelphia Eagles, let's say that when the coin toss, you you know picking to receive the ball, you're going up with an early lead. Right, because all it takes one, you you stop them one time, you you score again, like this high potent Eagles offense can do. Right now, you make the running game, you take the running game out of the game, and you force Brock Purdy to actually have to be a quarterback in the National Football League and not hide behind this vanilla offense. And that's something that I could honestly see happening with the Philadelphia Eagles. If the Philadelphia Eagles jump out to a big lead, can this 49ers football team come back with this offense? And the answer no. is no. No, they so can't. For that, but the I'm defense going, won't let that happen. That, that, that's where I'm at. This is the, the I, I believe this is the best defense in the league. Yes. And look, Fred Warner, best linebacker mm -hmm. in the league. You got both on the D line. Sure. One of the best, sure. if, if one of, if not the best pass sure. rushers in the league. And they're just going to create havoc. Jalen Hurts has not seen a defense like this yeah. all season. Well, I think that's, I think that's where we're, we're selling Nick Sirianni short, to be honest with you. I think Nick Sirianni is probably the better coach out of him and Kyle Shanahan. Stop that. No. Stop that. Stop no, that. No. Stop that. No. I, think, no. I think Kyle, Sh I think Kyle Shanahan, it's yeah. not disrespectful. Let's talk about it. I think Kyle Shanahan is the better play caller. There's a difference between play calling and the better coach. I think Nick Sirianni devices game plans that works for teams. And you, one thing that I, I know personally from talking with people with the Philadelphia Eagles, he's very adaptable and he listens to his players. So the fact of the matter is that's something that I, I could see 
being a factor in this game. I don't think we should. I don't think that the even if Nick Shan, Kyle Shannon is the better coach out of him and uh, Nick Sirianni, I don't think that the the gap is that huge. Play calling, sure, but and talking about overall in terms of being a head coach, because there's more to it, there's more to being a head coach than just play calling. And if you ask me, I think the Philadelphia Eagles are a team that just mesh mesh really well, and they're a really well coached team. They one thousand percent are a really well coached team. My biggest gripe with what you said, I'm glad you clarified. Kyle Shannon is taking a team led by Brock Purdy. Yeah. Brock Purdy, they've won 12 straight games. I agree. 12 straight games. And for me, I look at the 49ers. I look at the weapons they have. I think it's going to be a close game. And this is a game that's going to be decided, in my opinion, in those first five to ten minutes. And the reason why I say that is because I look at, once again, the Eagles. If the Eagles jump out to an early lead, I agree. I think the Eagles have a great chance. But I think the 49ers can dictate the pace of play. The 49ers have the weapons to make the Eagles go, what the hell do we do? Because you talk about McCaffrey, you talk about Ayuk. They've got all the weapons. And we've seen a team like the 49ers do this time and time again. We've seen them do it throughout the entire playoffs. They force opposing quarterbacks to make decisions. They force, force opposing quarterbacks to make mistakes. Dak Prescott threw two interceptions. The 49ers have forced 17 interceptions in the past 11 games. And for me, well, Dak Prescott that's a, de that's a defense. In almost every single game he's played in the season. So that's 17 interceptions in the past 11 games. That speaks volumes about this defense. Sure. And I don't think the 49ers, or I know for a fact, actually, they haven't faced a defense like the 49ers yet. And I don't think that the 49ers have faced a team like the Philadelphia Eagles just yet. And I, uh, to your point, I think, like, yeah, I think the, you know, coaching is a stat necessarily that we can't, we can't really like judge them. It's not Kyle yeah. Shanahan yeah. and, and, and Nick Sirianni going up with each other head to head. And what, what I, what I'm telling you is, and there's something we, no one can really dispute. If the 49ers that showed up last night against the Dallas Cowboys shows up against the Philadelphia Eagles, the Philadelphia Eagles are be representing the NFC in the Super Bowl this year. Yeah. That's it. I agree. My biggest issue with the Eagles is I just don't think that they're running game. It's all about the running game because if they can get the running game going against the 49ers defense, that's what the 49ers defense does really well, right? They can stop the run. They can, you know, uh, attack the passer. But if they can get a running game going against the 49ers, I agree. That's the game plan. And that's how I, they I just win. don't think they will. I mean, look, I Dre Greenlaw, I agree. Fred Warner, th those are that, that's the best linebacker duo in the NFL. The, hands down. That, that's the Absolutely. best linebacker duo in the NFL. And they're going to stop the run game. See, the beautiful thing about this is questions get answered this upcoming uh, weekend. I, don't, I also don't think that the Niners secondary can handle the Dallas Goddard's, the A.J. Browns of the world. But again, questions get answered. That's why you play the game. And I have a funny feeling that I'll be sitting up here talking about the Philadelphia Eagles representing the NFC in the championship.